And then I think there's also the expansion into parts of the other boroughs as well. Um, I think the Queen's Night Market, I don't know if people have heard of this, but um, is, a, is a fascinating case. It's basically, um, you know, most people have probably seen Smorgasburg or these sort of urban spaces pop-ups that happen in Manhattan with these, you know, really cool little food vendors that pop up. And that's kind of something you see pretty frequently in Manhattan now and some of the closer parts of Brooklyn. Well, um, this entrepreneur just, you know, decided to start one uh, out near Jamaica in Queens. The, you know, they had thousands of people sold out all of the food in the first two hours. <laughs> um, so clearly there's untapped markets of, of people looking for these experiences that we've started to provide in the sort of core Manhattan and in closer in um, parts of Brooklyn that I think could expand greatly. And there's, you know, a huge underserved market um, in other parts of, of all of the boroughs. And so I think there's a lot of room for expansion there, uh, even before people are looking out to the suburbs. Um, I think the appeal um, is gonna be centered around transit and accessibility. And that's why I think infrastructure is a key part of all of this and making sure we have the infrastructure, transportation infrastructure uh, primarily in place, but also some of the other infrastructure you were mentioning, like the sewers, um, we, we have a big project in Coney Island, right? So. The, the sort of uh, storm uh, resiliency uh, infrastructure that has to come into place on the waterfront um, all around uh, the city is also a key part of continuing that growth and expansion.